Nobody could ever actually figure out from the outside what he does at Enron. But one thing that he becomes really known for is his love of strippers. And not just conceptually, he would eventually leave his wife and marry a stripper. He was obsessed with strippers. He'd like bring them to the office. He'd leave for hours at a time. He would every single day after work go to the strip club. He knew like all the strip clubs around Houston. Because of that, he gets divorced from his wife. He ends up leaving Enron well before default and he sells his stock to finance the divorce for a quarter billion dollars. He makes $250 million. He sold his stock at the top. I don't think with any notion of what was about to happen. No, he had to finance the divorce. Crazy. So he ends up becoming the second largest landholder in Colorado. He's still like a multi-hundred millionaire to this day. 